Hello everyone, my name is Moonsnaper and welcome to part 14 of our Let's Play of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. So in the last episode, we went off to Dead Man's Port to meet off with Horner's wife and have to buy uh, her contract in order to get the adjutant back, which has some apparently interesting information uh, related to Emperor Manx. So in this episode, we're going to go and find out what that information could be. And move on to our next mission. Should be interesting. Sir, the decrypted adjutant is back in the lab and ready to go. Well, old girl, he dug you up on Tarsonis. Were you online during the Zerg attack? Do you remember anything about Arcturus Mex being involved? Mex, Arcturus, ex-Confederate officer, civilian prospector, founder and leader of the Sons of Korhal terrorist group. Status, criminal. Accessing intercepted transmission 0081 to 0086 Alpha. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're gonna use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane! She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Holy... I can't believe it. We can nail Minx to the wall with this. Damn, that's some good stuff. Alrighty. What's up, Hanson? I can't believe it. That recording proves it's all true. Manx, Tarsonis, all of it. What will you do now? Tell the people. Every man, woman, and child in the Dominion needs to know what their beloved Emperor is capable of. The backlash will be awful. There'll be riots and uprisings everywhere. But that's just what you want, isn't it? It's a start. Mm-hmm. Let's head off to the cantina. Let's talk with Tychus. I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Manx? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Manx be a force for change. Fought alongside him right up until Tarsamus. That's where he crossed the line. By using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. Hmm. Ain't that the truth. Let's check the news. Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains. The Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very terrible day. Tolosky's film highlights the seeming convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes. I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. Up next, Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives' tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? Hmm. Interesting. Let's head off to the armory. Hey, Swan, what's up? Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. 
My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call that. Of course, most folks like the bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart ass swan. <laughs> Uh, Swan. Anyway, we have spider mines here. Very nice. Just take a moment for you to read that. In the armory console, we have access to our the vultures, which upgrade only the spider mine capabilities. You can get Cerberus mines, which increase the blast radius and mine trigger radius by 33%. Or you can get a replenishable magazine, which allows vultures to replenish their mines in the field. It will cost them 15 minerals to do so, but this does save you from having to um, build a new vulture every time you want to put down more spider mines. Good upgrades to have. Anyway, let's go into the star map and see what we can do. Alright, so we have... Tyranor Haven, Tyranor, Tyrador 8, and Valhalla. Hmm. Choices. I think for. N I think I'll do Tyrador A. Seems your Queen of Blades figured out who's been paying us to snatch up all them artifacts. Mobius is here, Hanjo, Dr. Narud. Claims the Zerg are attacking his main research campus on Tiradoa. We can't evacuate his people until all their artifact research is safe. Alright, so in this up so this mission, the Mobius Factor, we have to evacuate the Mobius Foundation, we'll get 120,000 credits for it, and three Zerg research. We'll also get access to Medivax, air transport units that can heal nearby biological and biological units. Very nice. Ah, oh boy. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to take care of a uh, quick business. Let's go ahead and get in. Oh, Commander Aina. Thank the stars you've come. You had a sterling reputation as a marshal many years ago, and I know you'll do your best to help us. Yeah, well, that was all a long time ago, Doctor. Looks like you've got one heck of a Zerg problem here. Where do you need us? We're ready to evacuate, but none of the teams I sent to purge the Foundation data cores have reported back. I need you to destroy those cores before the Queen of Blades finds them and discovers the coordinates of the remaining artifacts. The fate of the entire sector could hang in the balance. Class 12 side pattern detected. Recommend extreme caution. Kerrigan. All right then, Doc. Our timetable's shorter than we thought. We gotta move. That's not good. Kerrigan's planet side. All right. Analysis of the Queen of Blades search pattern complete. Calculating her ETA to the closest data call now. You can't leave well enough alone, can you, Jim? It was stupid of you to come here. I don't plan on staying long, darling. But I'll be damned before I let you get hold of those artifacts. Alrighty. So in this mission, we have to destroy three data cores before the Queen of Blades gets to them. The Queen of Blades is going to be on a slow path, walking towards it. I'm giving you control of our medevacs, Commander. You can use them to transport your men around the city and avoid most of the Zerg. Ready for dust off. Alright, so we have access to medevacs, which are air support units you can build at the starport. They can be used to transport troops and vehicles over obstacles and can also heal nearby friendly units. Quite useful. Are 
All right. Bad news. Not enough minerals. No, come on, anyone. Oh, over here, up on the roof. Picking up or talk to me. So Minifex are able to load and unload units. I'm gonna take four. You need to bring them over here. Alright. And it looks like we have access to the final tier upgrades for our engineering bay and our armory. Very nice. Uh, hold on. First things first, since we are here. It's best in this mission, so the main gimmick with this mission is that you want to stay up on the high ground as much as possible to avoid the large amount of Zerg forces that are just right there on the ground. You gonna give me orders? It's very hard for... Um, uh -oh. Take care of that real fast. Go ahead and destroy that. One down. Keep it moving, boys. Of course. The Mobius data cores. You won't get the rest of them. Are you sure about that? At least she doesn't know where to find the other cores. We better get to the next one fast. Over time. I wanna build a few more of these. Unload here. Build another SCV. Come back over here to pick up this first. Stedman wanted one of those things to research. Reckon we can oblige him. So we have a brew list here, and that's where your Zerg research is going to come from. Up here, you have a timer for how long it'll take Kerrigan to access her next data. What's going on? I'm going to need to call down some more supply depots. Sir, you better do something about that Nidus worm before our base gets overrun. You gonna give me orders? Why not? Go ahead and destroy this nice worm real fast. And have it in. Just constantly dumping units down onto me. I'm gonna put a side disruptor right here. You can go back to mining. Give me another SCV. Go ahead and load up that form. Build two marauders. It's a matter of getting minerals now. So the reason Kerrigan takes a while is because she's going to these abandoned buildings and destroying them one at a time. No, it's a smart move on her part, but, you know, I'm not going to tell her now. I'm going to build the armory so I can upgrade the defenses on my medivacs. Build one medevac. It's about to get heavy. Say the word. And then let's start getting some Goliaths. Just 
Still on that one. Let's go ahead and upgrade infantry. Now what? On my way. Hey, hey, over here. Life life here. You guys can go over there. Shoot that. The one thing we'll need to be careful with that with our medevacs is the our air units. Will do, command. Which is partially why I want to start upgrading the armor of my minivax to make sure that they can take a bit more damage. Go ahead and drop your load over here. And start shooting, clearing these out. Uh, the queen plates is down there. You can come back over here. Build me. Two more Goliaths. Brand new. You can start mining. Let's upgrade our vehicle damage. You guys move over there. Shoot that down. Shoot that. Upgrade complete. Go ahead and pop one of those down there. Life flights here. Move over there. You got it. Bad news. Put down two more supply depots. Start up right now. Insufficient best we get. Be in the rear with the gear. You can go back to do that. Upgrade. Go ahead and quickly unload this. By the numbers, boys. Life flights here. And let's go ahead and just start getting through this. Just keep moving. You're done with that. Really? You can just 
Go away. Another minus one. That should be taken care of rather quickly. This is just that's just rude, Kerrigan. I've seen through your Doctor No Ruth pathetic charade. I know what the artifacts really are. And they will be mine. Whatever they are, Kerrigan, I sure as hell ain't letting you have them. That Queen of Blades really is quite a nuisance, isn't she? Doctor, where's the emergency? Alright. Life flight here. There we go. Now what? Here's your stop. Go ahead and unload all these again. Big job, huh? Picking up or dropping off. Come back over here and pick up this Goliath. And I'm probably gonna make a play for the What's brutal list. Waiting on you. Sir, another nighty swarm has emerged close to our base. Let's build two siege tanks to improve the defenses down here. Ready for pickup? Mineral field depleted. Okay. Let's upgrade our infantry armor. Help our ship. Alright, let's load up. Has even a chance of working. Alright. Let's build a marine. Go ahead. Oh, really? That's just rude, Kerrigan. You want a piece of me, boy? All right, let's take these three. Up, ready to go. We'll try to do a slip around to see if we can try to avoid the Queen of Blades. Because I'm not sure if she'll go ahead and if she'll start attacking. If she'll like change her focus to attack us. If we get close enough. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's go. All right, I need you guys to unload off right now. Unload. Unload and start shooting. That was a bit of a rough patch. Alright, the regenerative biosteel should be working through now. Picking up or dropping off. I heard that. Dropping off. Been waiting on you. 
Alright. Ready for pickup? Armed and ready. Everybody back in. Got it. Picking up or dropping off. And let's make a beeline back towards. ETA? Oh no. No, no, no. Loud and clear. Somebody, get me out of this mess. Heading out. Well, hallelujah. Ugh. Kerrigan. Go, go away now, alright. The medic, and I want another Goliath. Go ahead, Who wants some? You gonna get the orders? All right, yeah, I'll need two more Goliaths. And then I want. What do I want? Let's do. Ready for dust off. Let's just have one open and available just in case we need to. At least we got the brutalist. Go ahead and start maximizing that. Bad news. Oh. oh yeah, and I guess I should say it comes to no surprise you can't kill the Queen of Blades right now. Jeez, no way. Mineral field defeated. Seriously, just annoying. Ready for pickup? Just say where. Of course. Talk to me. Time's a waste. Where's back. the emergency? All right, let's try this again. Mineral field depleted. Confirmed. All right, she's going over there. Good. I've got 11 minutes left to get to this last data call. Understood. Let's go. Let's try to Heading avoid out. the Hydra list. Ah. On my way. Oh, this is gonna. We'll do, command. Here's your stop. Let's try to clear out a bit of this section. Wait on you. Loud and clear. Hey, Raiders, come pick us up. Hey, hey, over here. Marine, we are leaving. Ready for 
ready for pickup. All right, let's see. I heard that. No. Nope. Inbound. No. Nope. Picking up or dropping off. Here's your stop. Where's the emergency? Let's see. How best to approach. ETA one minute. If you can just shoot that down, that'd be super. Now, light, light here. Come over here and pick these guys up. Heading out. Loud and clear. The raiders are here. We're saved. Waiting on you. Let's go. Upgrade. Let's see. Yeah, do that and do that. We are running out of time. Queen of Blades is moving. Looks like she's gonna hit that one. Talk to me. On my way. Oh, that's a viper. That's. I heard that. By the jumpers, boy. Life flights here. I'm back. This is going to be risky, but let's do this. Kerrigan is about seven minutes away. Let's just go ahead and as long as we just keep putting pressure down. Oh yeah, Kerrigan's putting out all the stops now, but we're gonna get it. There we go. The final data call has been destroyed. We're out of here. All right. Very nice. All right, Doctor. You want to tell me why the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts so damn bad? She fears their power. Just as she fears the Zelnaga created them. The Zelnaga created both the Protoss and the Zed. They were the gods of that time. Alrighty. So that was that mission. A little rough there at the end. Got a bit worried, but we were able to take care of it. And, yeah. And we also rescued all the Mobius uh, survivors, which is nice. Alright. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope you all have a good day. Take care, and bye-bye.